everybody, it's Ashley here. Welcome back for another Nostalgic Time. You know, the 90s, one of my favorite authors was Sharon Creech. She still has books out today up into the late 2000s, but a lot of us remember her for her books from the 90s, such as Walk Two Moons, which was the winner of the Newbery Medal Award in 1995. It was a sad, enduring story about a girl named Sal that goes on a trip with her grandparents and tells about the move that she did from Bybanks, Kentucky to Euclid, Ohio. Now, these stories here do focus mainly on teen girls, and they go through hardships, including death and trust and independence issues. However, they are a little bit humorous. That way, they're easier to digest when you're reading them. Now, a lot of the characters are pulled over into other books, and little pieces of, Sh of Sharon's life are also kind of based on books, such as, but it's mainly like a location of people she may have known, such as Absolutely Normal Chaos was set in Euclid, Ohio, which was her hometown. And then, of course, to the kids, you would hear about two of her brothers, which was in Chasing Redbird for names, as you would see that there. And another thing that passed over into it was Bybanks, Kentucky, was actually based off of Lewis County, Kentucky, where she had cousins there. So that's where this part came from. Now, the character crossovers, you had Mary Lou Finney from Absolutely Normal Chaos that showed up in Walk Two Moons as a class that Sal had in Ohio. Zimmy Taylor from Chasing Redbird. You knew her, you knew of her because Sal knew her from Bybanks, Kentucky. Now, of course, there are tons of other books you may recognize from her, such as The Wanderer and Bloom Ability, but these were the main ones that most of us knew, and she did have picture books as well. One thing you may not have known, she was the first person to win both the American Newbery Medal and the British Carnegie Award. Now, this was, of course, the main ones I just remember from the time, and you probably do too, and you can still find them today at thrift stores, you can find them at yard sales, and you can definitely find them on eBay and probably even Amazon. At least her latest ones, you definitely can. So just remember, you can also check her out on her website, sharingcreeks.com, and just remember, if you definitely remember Walk Two Moons growing up as a kid, then you'll definitely remember her other books, or at least one to get back into them. And share the same bit of humor about the teen life we probably went through just as well. Until next time, guys, I will see you for another nostalgic time.